Now will you notice verse 24. Blessed above women shall jail the wife of Heber the Kenite be. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. The heroine of the day was Jael, and not Barak, but the dastardly deed that she did. God doesn't approve of the deed. But this was a time of war and the aftermath of war, a holocaust of battle, broken bodies and the fruit of war, men's souls blackened and scarred, the foliage of civilization removed like thin veneer, snarled and gnarled trunk of barbarianism is revealed. And again, I repeat it, Sherman was right about war. This woman, she did an awful thing. A woman's been made finer than the man. Never know just why they cry when they do. And there's something fine that's gone out of life today, by the way, and I think it concerns womanhood. Women, you notice, they cry at a funeral. That seems natural. Then they cry at a wedding. Maybe they know too much. I don't know, but I notice they do that. Then you find that this mother's heart in this song is revealed. She remembers that Sisera, though the enemy, and he was slain in this brutal way, that he had a mother. And notice this. After she extols jail for what she did, Verse 28, the mother of Sisser looked out at a window, cried through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Her wise ladies answered her, yea, she returned answer to herself. She knew what had happened. He'd been slain. Have they not sped? Have they not divided the prey to every man a damsel or two? To Sisera, prey of divers colors, a prey of divers colors, of needlework of divers colors, of needlework on both sides, meet for the necks of them that take the spoil. And she thought all the time that her boy would be coming and he didn't come. And even in this case, the heart of Deborah went out to her because she was a mother, you see. My, there have been mothers of the past, that have overcome handicaps of evil days, evil days like this woman Deborah lived in. Read the story of Augustine. He had a marvelous mother by the name of Monica who prayed for him. He was a debauched college professor, and he came to the feet of Jesus Christ. And then there was Susanna Wesley, and she had two boys that she prayed for, John and Charles Wesley. I'm not talking about worship and womanhood or motherhood, friends, but I want to tell you we're getting very far today from God's conception of this. What a picture you have in Deborah here.